Today's question is about probate and the reader writes, I sold home for mother's home as guardian to pay for care. That I was to inherit 50%. Do I get a share of other assets? Uh, apologies, I'm just reading how it's written. So it sounds like she sold the home to pay for her mother's care and she was supposed to inherit 50% of the home. Then she says, Mom inherited $167,000 after being placed in a memory care facility. Sister was left all assets and 50% of home. Do I get nothing? So, this is a good question. It's a little unclear to me from the facts whether you and your sister are the only heirs. If it's just the two of you and you were both named 50-50 in the will, then you would be entitled to half of all of your mom's probate assets that passed under the will. Now, a memory care facility, that brings up the issue of whether she's receiving Medicaid assistance from the state of Wisconsin. If she was, the state may have a claim against your mother's assets to be repaid for the money they paid for her monthly care. So, the state would, if you open a probate, the state would file their claim as a creditor. So be aware of that. As far as the 167000 if your mom died without a will and you're the only two children, then you would be the only two heirs entitled to inherit. And this um, 167000 I don't know if that passed under the will. Again, if you're named in the will as a 50% heir, you would get half of it. But if that's some sort of financial account your mom left non-probate to your sister, then that could be entirely hers. It may not be what she intended, but again, for people watching, make sure you have those beneficiary designations filled out and make sure they mirror your will if that's what you want them to do. And as far as the house, if your mom placed you and your sister on the deed, then at, after her death, like a transfer on death deed, then you for sure would be 50-50 owners. If she didn't, then it depends what the will says about the house. Assuming the will said we'd split everything 50-50, then you would be entitled to some of that as well. However, you mentioned that you sold the house, so let's say the will specifically mentioned the house. Well, once it's sold, that will wouldn't govern anymore because your mom didn't own that asset. So one other thing I'm thinking is maybe that 167 came from the home sale. Now that money should pass under the terms of your mom's will. Again, unless she put it in a bank account, and let's say she had a payable on death form on that account just to your sister, then it would just go to your sister because that passed non-probate by operation of law. So for the other uh, listeners out there, be careful about these non-probate ways of uh, leaving money to people. Think about who you have named on each financial account as payable on death. Your will will not override those. Those are a private contract between you and the financial institution. So make sure those are accurate with your current estate plan wishes. At my office we do holistic planning and we remind you to look at those and think about how each part works together. And I suggest you do the same with your plan. So great question. Thank you for asking and good luck with getting that all sorted out.